Hello everyone and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. We've been visiting with some of our hometown heroes and Hometown Heroes is a program sponsored by Comcast and the Bay Area News Group. And another one is stopping by to join us today, Linda Fodrini Johnson, who is the founder and CEO of Elder Care Services. And thanks for coming by. Thank you for having and me. And congratulations on being a hometown hero. Thank you again. Yes. Were you surprised when you found out? I ask everybody that. Yes, I mean, a hero is a a big label. Yeah, well, <laughs> you've done a big job. Elder Care Services, you said, has been around for more than 20 years. That's correct. I started it 20 years ago, um, and we are growing because of the need. How did it start? You said you started in your kitchen. What was going on in your life that made you decide to start something for elders? Well, I had ran the very first Alzheimer respite program, and, and in doing that, as part of the end of my master's degree program, I found that families were misplacing their family members, putting them in nursing homes when they didn't need to. Um, families didn't know where to go. And I saw my own parents struggling with my grandparents. And I said, I need to start something to help families make good decisions. It's one thing to have the idea. It's quite a different thing to start up a whole organization and a nonprofit. What did you do first? How did you get started? Well, how I got started was I also am licensed as a marriage family therapist, and I started working with families in, from my home, but I met with them in their homes, not in my home. And so you could do that without an office until the request for my services grew to say, wait a minute, I need to hire somebody. So from not knowing whether I would just need an assistant to do this business to now having 250 employees wow. was a big journey. <laughs> but I didn't envision it day one. Yeah, so the funds come from, do people pay for these services? Pay for the services, long-term care insurance, or sometimes employees pay for care management. And what kinds of things do you provide? One is consultations with families so that they get the right resources, they know that their parents are getting their right entitlements, um, help them with placement options, help them hire home care, help with moves across the country, either moving mom from Kansas or mm. Texas, or moving mom from the Bay Area to the East Coast because that's where the only family is. So Yeah, and that is quite a job. I, I went through that. My mother is no longer with us, but when she got to that age where she couldn't live alone, we had to move her cross country right. from my hometown in Tennessee to live with my sister in Connecticut. And it was quite an ordeal and quite a trauma. It is a trauma for everybody in the family, not just the elder, since I'm going through it with my own mom who had a stroke about two months ago. It's an emotional journey as well as a realistic journey. Journey. And it's really challenging for families, even when they're professionals like I am. What advice can you give to especially us baby boomers who are now coming into our senior years and who will at one point be uh, at the place where our kids will have to do this for us or whoever we have around to help us out? And a lot of us don't even have children. But what advice can you give us to prepare for that before we get to that point? Well, number one is you want to do your research. What gives your life passion and meaning? Know what that is and go from there. And, and then look at options that make sure that they're still feeding you what's important in your life. Is it your church? Is it your volunteerism? Is it hiking in the Sierras? Is it playing tennis? Is it swimming? Whatever that is, is really important to keep in your life. And, and then that, we'll have to let them call you for number two and three because we <laughs> run out of time. Oh, okay. But th that's good advice. Number one is to know okay. your passion. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, and congratulations you. again on being a hometown hero. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye-bye.